Let me check for it. Uh -huh. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm the creator here behind Myrtle and Robin. And this little guy, if you haven't met him before, is Oz, my dog. So I just got some really fun things in the mail today from Paradise Fibers. I got the package for the Fiber of the Month Club and also a Fun For Me package that I got as well. And I wanted to take you all along with me as I open up my mail. So let's go. So I'm actually pretty excited about this month's subscription to the Fiber of the Month Club. I've been a member of the Fiber of the Month Club, I think, pretty much since I first learned how to spin, so for a few years now. But I did have to cancel last year while we were moving. Um, things just were really chaotic and I didn't know that I would have a regular address for it to be sent to. So this is the first time I have gotten one since I think a almost a year now. I also haven't seen any spoilers yet, so I don't know what the theme is. Okay, our first package is in this yellow bag. It looks like it's on the brown side. I, I don't tend to go for brown textiles. I'm a little nervous about that, but we'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us. Oh, so this looks pretty brown on camera, but it's actually uh, several other colors mixed in. It's almost metallic looking, maybe iridescent. And it's got a really pretty sheen to it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this might make a pretty nice sweater, actually. I might need to buy more. <laughs> That's always a dangerous thing with these subscriptions. Uh, sometimes four ounces just really isn't enough. Sometimes you need to go back and buy more. So I feel another fiber package here in this red bag. It looks like something red toned. I also don't to tend to go for the red tones. So definitely something new for my stash. Oh, so it's not just red, it's a muted red with some pinks and maybe a hint of lavender. You know, this is actually feeling kind of nostalgic. It reminds me of those strawberry candies that you would get at the bulk section of maybe a Winco or something. I don't know if anybody else has that memory in the back of their mind, but I very vividly remember those candies and this definitely gives off that vibe to me for some reason. Let's see what else we have in here. It looks like they're giving us a mesh project bag. That's nice. I always need more of these for all my different works in progress. Next up should be our notions. So as always, we have a stash tea bag. The flavor this month is maple apple cider. That's nice. Apple is one of my favorite flavors for pretty much anything. And the sticker this month has a matte finish and it's really pretty, very luxurious sort of looking. Definitely matches the color scheme we have going on with the fiber. And then um, it doesn't look like we got a stitch marker this month. It is a bronze crown, but it has a lobster clasp. So I feel like that's more of a charm. I'm not sure though. I've never used a stitch marker that has a lobster clasp. Maybe somebody else has. I'd be worried it might pull on the yarn, so maybe more of a charm situation. Alright, let's see what our theme is. The theme for January is Strength of Mind. And the inspiration for the fiber is this beautiful painting. That makes sense. I can see the bronze tones and the red tones. Our first fiber that I pulled out here is called Age of Bronze, and this is a 60% merino, 20% tessa silk, and 20% mohair. The second fiber I pulled out, which in my head I'm calling the strawberry candy fiber, um, but its official name is Crimson Valor, and this has the same uh, fiber makeup, I think. Yes. So 60% merino, 20% tessa, and 20% mohair. So they're both the same fiber percentage. Okay, now that we've opened the subscription package for this month from Paradise Fibers, let's go ahead and open the Fun For Me package. 
this isn't actually all for me. Um, I actually bought some fiber for my mom here as well. She is coming to visit soon and has asked if I could teach her how to spin. So I decided to pick up some fiber for her uh, once she finishes the basics to practice on. Um, so I picked up a pack for her to learn off of and then decided why not give myself a couple treats as well as a late Christmas present since I didn't give myself one this year. Um, so that's what's in this bag and I am really struggling here. I hate cutting into these envelopes when I've bought fiber. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but it is one of the most stressful tasks you can do. I'm always so scared I'm going to cut into it. And as you can see, this envelope is packed. So this very first package here is the fiber that I bought my mom. It is 100% Cheviot wool, undyed. And I got about a pound for her to practice on. I really love Cheviot, especially as a beginner uh, a beginner wool. I taught myself uh, how to spin using Cheviot and I found it just worked a lot better when I was brand new for me than using merino or anything else. The fiber length is nice and not too long, not too short, and it's cheap and usually goes on sale. So um, I, I think it's going to be really great for her to learn off of. But we all have our favorite breeds, I'm sure. For myself, I bought two braids from Malabrigo, is the brand, and they are 100% merino, and they are both in the same color way, I think. And yes, they are both the same color way. I was really drawn to them online because they looked a lot like a field of wildflowers to me, and I would love to do something in a project that kind of looks like that. The colorway is called Mandragora, and I'm even more pleased with it in person. It's a lot more vibrant than I expected it to be, and I think this will be really great for a future project. I will say, though, there is a pretty strong vinegar smell. Um, for most people, that probably won't bother them that much, and it makes sense. They probably used vinegar to set the dye. For me personally, though, I'm pretty sensitive to smell, so that might be a little difficult at first. I'll probably need to air them out a little bit after I unbraid them before I process them, but if that's not a problem for you, then I don't think you'll have any issues with that. I got these because I've been really dying to do a fractal spin. Um, I haven't done one in a long time now, I think it's been about a year since I've done a fractal, and these looked like they had some really nice repeats that I could use to do that with, uh, but we'll see once I figure out how to get this circle braid unbraided. Um, maybe a fractal's in the cards, maybe not. So here is everything that I got in the mail today all together, everything from the subscription package to the other fiber that I bought. I'm really excited for all the projects that I can plan based off of this for 2024 and excited to bring you guys all along. All right, that is all that I have to unbox for today. I'm gonna go ahead and do the not so fun part and weigh all these beautiful things out, make some labels for them and put them away. But I wanted to take a moment to say thank you all for coming today and watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you all next time. Bye.